So, um, how long have you guys been friends? Now, first of all, how did you guys meet? Doing the scene in Houston, in Houston, mm -hmm. for the sirens. Okay. It was girl, girl action. Yeah. Yeah. It was girl action. It was what, 2014, 2013, 2014? 2013? It's been some years. It's been a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back in, my, back in my skinny days. Yeah. <laughs> we were both <laughs> so you guys just hit it off? Like, yeah. yeah, pretty and, much. And you guys done more than one scene together. A lot. Yeah, we've done a lot. Yeah. Our our fans like us together because we're kind of built the same. We're about the same size. Yeah. You know, both big body structures. And it's like you get the best of both worlds. You got a brunette and you got a blonde. And mm -hmm. the natural booties. Love it. So like one good girl, <laughs> one bad girl. I'm yeah. over the bad one. You're the bad one? <laughs> It, yeah, I'm the good one. Don't let the tattoos fool you. I'm the bad one. I'm the good one. <laughs> when I see a W D P A W G stand for fat ass white girl. Okay. That stands for lucky being a virgin. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, fat ass white girl. P uh, fat with a P. Yeah, fat with a P. Okay. Fat up. ass white girl. Stand up. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna stand on the bed. I'm gonna get on the shoes. Okay. Oh, we're standing on the bed. God damn it. What if I break my ankle again? Don't break your ankle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mom, my boot is showing. Nope. It's covered. It's covered. Smothered and covered. <laughs> I got it. Oh. This is a pause. Okay, Palmer. And what's your measurements? I haven't measured myself. I'm 36, double D. Uh, this is went down, so it's probably like a 30, and this is a 51. Okay. Yeah, last time I was a 36, double D. I think this is a 30. It might be bigger, because, you know, COVID. <laughs> Quarantine life. Mm -hmm. um, last time I checked, this was a 48. That might have got bigger, too, because of COVID. I'm so. pretty sure it's a lot bigger. I'm going to go buy a tape measure tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's this big. <laughs> I know. It looks perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. You guys look around the same size. It. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I want some more of it. She's the only friend I have that I can like tr like borrow her clothes. <laughs> All my other friends sure, are like yeah. skinny, 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 or like mm -hmm. big, 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 and I'm like, oh, there's only one person. If I need to borrow clothes, I can borrow clothes from. That's right. This one. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. I. You guys basically film a lot together. Yeah, we do. Was it something natural or you just be like, you're just like, let me just film? It's just more like, hey, bitch, I'm bored. I want to go to a city, make some money. We have good chemistry. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's like anytime I want to do something, she's down. When she wants to do something, exactly. I'm down. Okay. So it's like there's no, oh, well, I'd rather do this. Or, it's just like, hey, let's go do this. And I'm like, okay, down. Okay. I'm a writer. Uh, we're riders. We're yeah. riders. <laughs> Does this feel sure. awkward? You know, you guys kissing one another, go down on one another, knowing that you know her. No, not at all. It doesn't. Mm -mm. Cause there's already a physical attraction. Mm -hmm. So it's not awkward at all. Oh, okay. So at least it might say important. What? I hey, I went down on her like nothing the other day. Yeah, well, sure. I filmed her, and it was just like, <laughs> I was like, hey, girl, bend that ass over. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> did you guess, how did you get started, Dallas? Um, I got started, actually, so I actually was founded on Twitter by a company whose name I won't mention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they found me on Twitter, asked if I wanted to shoot. That was in 2012. I said yes. They bought my ticket to L.A. I shot. And then that video came out, and then they said, hey, you, you were a hit. Can we book you again? I said, yeah, that's fine. They said, okay, this time you have to pay for your own ticket. Mm. Like, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. mm. So I went out there and I shot two scenes. Um, that one was a hit. And um, after the second scene, like when I went back out there a second time, I was kind of like, I felt awkward. Like it was just the, the producer was kind of awkward. The whole setup was awkward. Um, I had to stay in his house rather than a hotel Ooh. and oh. <laughs> it just made me feel like really awkward. So then, um, I would not say to yeah, the, the sirens reached out to me shortly after and was like, Hey, do you want to shoot content? And I said, well, yeah, but I had a bad experience mm -hmm. and they ended up saying, Oh, well, you know, we're in Houston. I said, Oh, well I'm in Dallas, you know, so I'm not far from home if something goes south, you know, mm -hmm. 
you know, from Texas versus California to where, like, you know, Houston or Dallas is only a four-hour drive. So. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. And how yeah. was your experience the first time? My first time? Yeah. Uh, I started on YouTube checking my ass first. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I went to webcam. And then, of course, my first major scene was with the Sirens, too. Yeah. And then I went on to shoot for Bang Bros and the other companies. Webcam. How was, how was webcam? Well, back in the day when I webcam, it was fucking awesome. I don't know now because I do a lot of other shit. Yeah. But <laughs> that was my main source of income. It was strictly webcam. Is it like you make more money doing webcam in than working with a big production house? Uh, no. No? Mm-mm. Oh. I mean, you got to put a lot of hours in okay. on webcam to get your money. And we don't do webcam anyway. What happened? What's webcam? Well, you webcam and they come on the air and they do it to you and they pay you to Oh, kind of like cam soda. Like yeah. cam soda. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. When you said webcam, in my mind, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. Like cam soda. Mm-hmm. Well, there wasn't cam soda where I was at. It was like Chattery. Yeah. I, I never did that. I was a stripper. <laughs> I stripped here and there, but in Atlanta, there was a lot of private parties. I stripped for years on years. I stripped for at least 10 years. I was just shaking my ass. I was, stri- I was <laughs> dancing with a fake ID in my younger days, still in high school with a fake ID. <laughs> wow. And everybody recognized you while you was in high school? Um, a few of my coaches used to go into the strip club, but I mean, I was like a junior, about to be a senior, but yeah, I was in the strip club my my junior year and uh, my basketball coach came in and was like, <laughs> I said, sorry, I'll be in class tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and that was your all black high school, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I went to an all black high school, W.T. White. Wow. It was awkward. It was pretty fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you you haven't stripped at all? I have stripped, have but stripped? it wasn't my main source. Mm-hmm. In Atlanta, there was a lot of like house parties, so I stripped a lot of those. I have stripped, but I stripped a um, uh, Pink Pony in Forest Park. Okay. I stripped in New York. I've stripped in Miami, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like I had to be there every single day. Okay. I just did it when I was bored. Oh, all right. Yeah. Because, you know,